Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick 9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Bill Frawley, also known as William Frawley from I Love Lucy. Now, I know if you are all fans of I Love Lucy, you absolutely love Bill Frawley as Fred Mertz, my favorite character and actor on the show. He was so, so good. I enjoyed him thoroughly. He was so good. But you will also know about his death, how he had a heart attack in the 1960s. We'll talk about it, and I'll let you know how his death is truly a mystery as to what happened. I'll tell you why. There's conflicting reports about what happened, and some of these sources are absolutely wrong, and I'll tell you why. It's pretty crazy. We'll try to retrace the steps and see how much we can figure out. If you like talking about classic TV shows and movies, don't forget to join my Patreon. Link is in the description below. A way that you can support the channel, but also get exclusive content as well. Well, let's get right to the video. Now, what's really important about this and what we know is Bill Frawley's contribution to television, to comedy. He was such a prolific actor. He was born in 1887, if you could even believe that. And he passed away March 3rd, 1966. He was 79 at the time of his death. He was born in Burlington, Iowa, of all places. And yeah, he became a native Angelino. Uh, he loved Los Angeles. He loved acting and of course he was great on i love lucy he was great on my three sons but as he got older of course he started to have some difficulties now he actually resided in a hotel called the knickerbocker hotel in hollywood california what's interesting is that a few months before he had died he actually moved from that hotel to the el royale apartments um, still in the hollywood area but he did not die while he was still living at the Knickerbocker. That is uh, a popular known myth that a lot of us have heard about. So I'm gonna show you maps so that we can actually see and understand the area that I'm talking about and see if we can get a little closer to finding out what really happened to William Frawley as he passed away. Now, hopefully this map gives an idea to people who don't know LA or Hollywood or any of this area. I grew up in the Los Angeles area so I can clearly tell you how a lot of this worked. This is a very famous intersection. It's called Hollywood and Vine. You can even see from a top-down view how it's one of, I think, five intersections in Los Angeles County that are X intersections, which mean you can cross this way, up and down, left, right, but also diagonally. And that tells you how busy and essentially uh, trafficked it is. We're gonna zoom in a little bit more. You can see Hollywood and Vine, very popular. Now, it is alleged that Bill Frawley was walking with his male nurse. He had a male nurse because he was having rectal issues and he was getting sicker and older. He was almost 80. And so he suffered a massive heart attack around the area of Hollywood and Vine. So what's interesting is although a lot of these buildings on the bottom, you may, or these businesses may be newer. These buildings are actually from that time. So they would have been around at that time, especially if you look up. They're all like higher multi-story buildings. And what they do, they're trying to preserve these top buildings. So he would have seen all this. So this is important to note. Um, I do want to make known, but if you notice how close the Knickerbocker Hotel is, so apparently he suffered a major heart attack on the corner of Hollywood and Vine. So it could be at any four of these intersections. And then he actually made his way. Let me zoom out so I can show you the distance between these two locations. So Hollywood and Vine is right here. Then we have the short route. Um, so apparently this is not even a mile. And then over here at the Hollywood Knickerbocker Hotel, so you can see it's less than two miles. It's really a short distance, obviously walking distance, um, not too far at all. And this is in front of the Knickerbocker, I'll show it to you. Where one source, Bart Andrew says that this is where uh, Bill Frawley was brought and he passed away in the lobby of the Knickerbocker. That makes sense because it is actually pretty close. Es essentially the male nurse carried him to the hotel. The only problem with that is that another source says this wasn't the location at all. So a book that's called Meet the Mertzes by Rob Edelman and Audrey um, 
K. I'll just say that her last name is a little hard to pronounce and I'm just trying to focus on the video. But essentially, if we look out here, we can zoom in. This is Hollywood and Vine uh, right here where this little um, image is right over here. If we go all the way down here, essentially to this location, the Hollywood Roosevelt, this is where they say that the male nurse carried him. Now, you could say, well, maybe that's an error and they should have said the Knickerbocker. Well, they assure, and it says, the lobby of the nearby ho excuse me, Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, where Frawley soon passed away. That has to be incorrect because it's several miles and you can't carry someone this distance. I can assure you it is, it is fairly far. Um, if, if like this is, I've walked this, there's no way you can carry someone this distance. It's just too far, too long. If, if we even zoom in a little bit, you, you will see, especially someone who just had a heart attack and you're telling me that you're gonna walk all of this. This is very transited streets and it's not a short, you cannot carry someone this distance uh, you have to be like superman so that is out for the count i really don't think that that is true maybe there was an error but that is a very glaring error in this book now you know what's super crazy is that a lot of people think that these sources are conflicting and here's why because there are actually no newspapers from 1966 that mention that frawley was ever taken to the hollywood knickerbocker hotel which is kind of what we concluded which was again located about half a block up from where Frawley had collapsed from his heart attack. Now, the LA Times said that Frawley had died in the street. And so these conflicting reports don't give us a good idea of what actually happened, but from what things are matching is he had a heart attack here, he collapsed and he either died on the street or on the way to the Knickerbocker in this general vicinity. Um, and then he was taken to the hospital. And I'll show you where that is. What's interesting is that hospital is no longer there, but you will see how close it is. You can literally, Hollywood and Vine, you can just take Vine straight down, um, essentially, or to here, to Sunset, and then down Wilcox. And now you'll see it's actually a uh, police station right now. This was the Hollywood uh, hospital at the time which now has been demolished and it has been turned into a police station and it's called the it was called the Hollywood receiving hospital and this is where he was pronounced deceased on arrival I also did want to show you El Royale uh, apartments this is where he lived at the time that he passed away it wasn't at the Knickerbocker he lived at the Knickerbocker hotel for 30 years then he moved here he was here for probably less than a year and then while he was at this hotel, during the time he resided at this hotel, he passed away uh, while collapsing at, at the Hollywood and Vine. So I wanted to clarify that because, again, there's a lot of misinformation on that, that he died while he was living at the Knickerbocker, which is untrue. And lastly, before we continue, I want to show you this map. Hollywood Knickerbocker Hotel, Hollywood and Vine right here. This is where he allegedly was brought, um, but that is untrue because, I mean, this is a huge distance to bring someone um, Blessed Sacrament Catholic Church, which was actually where his funeral mass was held. That's where Desi Arnaz served as Paul Bear, along with Fred McMurray and other people who loved him. Beautiful church, but you can all see how everything is within a short distance of each other. I mean, he was a man of Hollywood, and I mean, all these locations within a short distance, it's, it's pretty interesting to see. Now that we've seen the maps, I do want to show this to you, and this is the death certificate of Bill Frawley. There's a lot of interesting information on here. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but I think it's really cool to be able to look at this in detail. I'll kind of read off as much as possible, just giving you a little bit of uh, information. First name, full William, middle name, Clement Frawley. He uh, passed away March 3rd, 1966 at 5.54 p.m. Uh, male, Caucasian, from Iowa, born Iowa. He was born February 26, 1887, 79 years old at the time of death. His parents, Michael A. Frawley uh, from Connecticut, I believe, Mary E. Brady from Iowa. Um, also, a couple more things. He was born in the, uh, born in the United States. Social Security number, 562-051177. You know, obviously, that's released at time of death and no longer can be used. So, um, I don't know if some people don't know about that. Also, last occupation, an actor. 
right? Uh, some things I don't exactly know because obviously the quality isn't that great. Uh, he obviously worked for Desilu Studios, which I think is really cool to see on here. Motion Picture TV, um, which is what he did. He was divorced. He was married, I believe, in the 20s or 30s, was divorced. And then he was a bachelor for the rest of his life as well. Um, he passed away uh, dead on arrival at the Hollywood Receiving Hospital. This is the address 1350 North Wilcox. Type that in. You'll see that police station, which is in L.A., couple other things here this was his address North Rossmore at the El Royale which confirms that he was there and not living at the Knickerbocker um, a name of essentially he didn't have any children but he left Patricia Berry most of his estate money he left a couple things to his brothers but Patricia Berry yeah the actress um, some people speculate maybe that was his secret daughter um, love interest I don't know many many different we won't speculate on that but he did totally leave everything to her of her her address in Brentwood I believe uh, signing doctor um, and address of everything they, they did a burial at the San Fernando mission or they were going to do that um, and and he's buried there I actually made a video where I went to visit so if you haven't seen that go check it out uh, myocardial I believe um, inf infraction and stuff basically a heart attack right um, in doctor's terms. If anyone's a doctor, maybe they could explain that. Uh, but yeah, I hope you found this interesting. I really love to make these type of videos because it's like we recreate history. We can recreate history a little bit or get a little closer to it. I hope this answers some questions that you had, taught you something new, um, and that we solved a few things. We won't know ever exactly everything that happened in every point of history, but we can get closer to it, and I think that makes it more awesome, more amazing. Thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Those are two free ways that you can support the channel. If you want to do a little more, of course, it's optional. Patreon is a great way. We'll see you all next time. I'll leave the video up so that you can watch of his uh, burial site. You can check out me visiting it. And always, always remember, be hopeful. Thank you so much to all my supporters, especially my Diamond Tier patrons. Jerry D, Citizen Kane 359, Jennifer P, David D, Kevin K, Sally Ann, and Vito L. If you wanna be on this list, make sure to check out my Patreon description in the link below. Thank you so much again.